Hello everyone, my name is Alex and welcome to the first video of 2023. I'm so happy to be here again, creating content and interacting with all of you. As you might have seen, this channel look changed, including the content itself as well as the profile image, YouTube banner and the intro background. Before starting, I want to thank all of you for the support over the past year, it's, it's been amazing. Even though I didn't begin creating for a very long time, I'm really proud of what I've accomplished. You guys pushed me to do more stuff and get better in both photo and video editing. Now for today's video I'm gonna create King's Arthur Legendary Sword Excalibur. I've recently watched an anime related to King's Arthur and I wanted to give it a try and make my own version of it. I got a few images that I'm gonna work with, not that many but just enough to create this piece. Sometimes I over search for stock photos and for this one I decided to keep it as simple as possible. And yes, I guess we should go directly into Photoshop. First thing first, I have this very nice image that I turn horizontally since I thought it looked better this way and then I place it. As you can see, the original sky was terrible, therefore I had to remove it. Having so much water didn't seem attractive to me, so I copied the original image and painted some grass back in. The exact same thing happened with the second image, remove the sky with the brush tool and mess the edges so I can make it look like it is part of the ground. I use the color balance adjustment layer along with the hue and saturation one to match the colors. For the background I found this mountain image. It fits perfectly with the scene I have in mind and it has a good place for a light source. Now I need to make sure that the foreground matches the background. For that I drop down the luminosity for both the ground and the rock and painted some shadows where needed. Ok, so this is how it turned out, I skipped this part because overall it was just me painting, if you are curious, here you can see the values for the color balance adjustment layers that I used for the entire foreground for both mid-tones and shadows. That's how it turned out with blue tones. Other than that, a simple exposure adjustment layer for shadows. Moving forward, it was time to work on the main subject, that being the sword. I cut it out and place it into the stones and I just had to make sure it fits with the form of the rocks. Then of course, lower the exposure. Here comes the interesting part, I have to make it glow. The color will be blue because I love it and it looks cool. There is no better reason. As I do on all of my compositions, I started adding overlays. The idea is to have a light source that comes from the tip of the sword. The first one is set on screen and the second one on linear dodge add. Here I painted myself some light raises, just to make it more intense. Then I went to filter, blur and gaussian blur and set the value to around 8. After changing the color to a light blue, I kept adding more overlays. At first, I didn't want that many, but as I kept adding more and more, it started to look nice. One more, hide some parts, and guess what, one more, again mask some parts, Here was a bit of warping, but other than that, I think it was the most boring thing to do. Take the image from the folder, paste it into Photoshop, mask. Take the image from the folder, paste and mask. And one more. After quite some time, it was finally done. Here I made the highlights on the rocks and the grass with a blue solid color set on linear dodge add. Then I took the brush and started to paint.
from now on it will be a speed art because it is mostly painting highlights and light.